Hello, Gemini. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you. Welcome to anyone that's new. This is Nicole with Angelic Therapy and Healing. To all of my subscribers, thank you so much. Thank you for liking the videos, sharing, subscribing, and many thanks for all of your support. Now, we are going to, in the honor of love, this month for Valentine's Day, we're going to do a special love reading. So for those of you that are coming to get information that is not love related, you're going to want to check back next month because these are going to all be focused on love. Now, as far as cards, if you're interested in the cards, I will put the cards below that we are using because you can tell there's a whole bunch of cards on the table. I'm not going to cover all the different decks that we're using, but I will put the information below. Now, do keep in mind that these readings are for a large number of people. So if you find that it's not resonating with you, that's okay. It just means that they are not your messages this month. So go on ahead and check out your moon or your rising sign as you might get messages from them. Now, let me make sure you can see these. Perfect. What we're gonna do is we're going to first start with your side. What's going on with you? We're gonna cover what's going on with them. And we're gonna go on this joint information together. Now, Gemini, this first category of cards, this is what is your current situation? And you have the High Priestess with the walking away, and then you have this engagement card reversed. I'm gonna hold it upright so you can see the graphics. At the bottom it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Now this is reversed. So, So the high priestess, this is, you know, you're really searching, you're, you're digging, you're doing some research, but it's some research that you're doing on your own. You're, you know, you can be researching, you know, thinking about contemplating. It's that, you know, listening to that intuition, that psychic awareness, but you're going inward to find out, okay, what are your desires? What do you want? Is this working for you? Is this relationship not working for you? Because there are things you don't feel... Some of you feel like your relationship has stagnated. You feel like it's plateaued. Like, okay, what, this is not going anywhere. Some of you, you may very well be married and a long-term commitment, but you just feel like, you know, sometimes people hit that, you know, seven-year mark. It's just, you've hit this blah, this, this spark's gone. It's just not there. And you're really wondering what to do. Some of you are contemplating walking away from the relationship. You would like to come to a peaceful resolution. You would like to work things out, but you're feeling alone. And many of you, you're also feeling like you're left in the cold. You see how she's got her one arm across the other, like she's trying to keep warm and it looks like she's got snow on the tops of her wings. You're feeling like you're out in the cold. You're feeling like you're all alone. This isn't what you want in this relationship. Now for some of you, it may just be one or two of you, you may have someone propose to you this month and you'll turn it down. Now, it might only be one of you, but because with your research and you, you're not, you're not wanting to pursue that. Now for most of you, let's find out why. That makes no sense. <laughs> oh, Gemini, I always think Scorpios, Scorpios are always the worst to do readings for, <laughs> but you might beat them today because this is totally contradictory. Typically with Scorpios, they'll have things that are totally contradictory. You have that, yes. So, so far, Gemini, you are taking the cake because you have man, this is the lover. You have the house, the home, and you have the flowers. This relationship is a gift. It's a blessing. This man whom you have built a home with, you've built a family with. Now do keep in mind, this could go either way. If you're listening to this and you're the Gemini and you're a female, and this sounds like, well, you would be the female to have the relationship with the man. But say you're a man and you're a male Gemini and you're listening to this and it sounds like this is your story. Go on ahead and flip it. But this person, they're depicting it right now as a male. You've built this home with him. You've, you've, you have this solid foundation with him. You see how bright and cheery the home is? 
it's a gift. The relationship's actually a gift. You're not happy though. Why aren't you happy? Um, well, let's keep going. We'll, f we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go. I get a lot of you are just kind of like bored. Things just, you feel like they've pulled away. This is how you feel about the relationship. You have this seven of pentacles with co-create, with honeymoon at the bottom of honeymoon. It says, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So you feel like you've put so much work into this relationship. You've done so much trying to create. Because you look, there's this egg, this, you know, this, this beginning, this new beginning. Uh, you've got this owl. You feel like you've done so much to try and create something together. You've also, you feel like you are putting a ton of work in. And some of you, you feel like you're the one in this relationship. It's, it's off balance. You feel like you're putting more into it than they are. And you feel like the spark is gone because, you know, honeymoon, what do people do when they go on honeymoons, you know, that brings the spark back in the relationship. It revitalizes things. You feel as though the relationship has lost that spark. There's part of you that would still, you miss that spark, but you think that it's long gone. But if it's come to a point where you just feel like the relationships work and you don't feel like they are putting the work in. You feel as though it is one-sided, which is why a number of you are just like, I, I don't know what to do. So as far as the outcome that you desire with them this month in February 2019, you have the King of Swords. Now this card in this deck, this is all about, you know, using our power of a reasoning. Our, you know, the power and the ability to look at something and recognize our own strengths, our own weaknesses, our own limits. So you have come to the point where you have acknowledged and you do realize you have come to that breaking point. You have reached your limit. The limit where you, you've taken all that you're going to take. But you see, this is even kind of cyclical because you're thinking about ending it, you're pondering, you're wondering what to do, but then you've got this card, the observer. And again, there's another egg. So although you, you, you're thinking, contemplating, do I end it? Do I move on? What do I do? You're still hoping there's gonna be this fresh new start, this fresh new beginning, because the fox is looking at this new moon with all these magical stars and they're sitting on an egg with these stars around it. You want to give birth, but then you're in the, oh, okay, no, I wanna free myself. Because <laughs> you've got the free yourself card at the bottom. It says, it's time to take back control of your life. So you are not sure, Gemini, what you wanna do. You are thinking about it, you are contemplating, but you're just really, you see how she's just looking off into space like, I just, whew, I can't even, I don't even know what to do with this. You're just not sure. You would like to have that new beginning. You would like to have that fresh start. But at the same time, you're contemplating, well, maybe I'm supposed to break free. But you do love him. It's almost like it's something that's repairable. It's, it's just this phase that you're going through. Because again, it's a gift. These cards are beautiful cards. And even on the bottom of the deck, you've got the, the, the four leaf clover, the luck, the charm. This is a positive thing. Yeah. Definitely positive, this relationship, this marriage, this commitment that you have. Okay. Now, as far as with him or her, their current situation, there's this card judgment. And then there's the woman holding the coin and then there's playfulness and at the bottom of playfulness it says to recapture romance, <laughs> allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. Now this card judgment, this is all about answering the call. If you see the three of them, they're actually, the three of them, they're sitting down and they're staring up at this angel that's come down. This is about listening to that divine inspiration, answering that divine call. 
And if you look, he is sitting in front of the other three. So he has been going through this, this spiritual rebirth, this spiritual growth. He has been kind of like a hermit during this time where he's been going inward during the spiritual growth time, which is why some of you felt like you're, you're all alone. Because they have been questioning their purpose in life, the, the meaning to life. And during this spiritual journey, this awakening, this thing that they have been going through, you felt like you've been off in the cold. Because again, this is another image where she, like the other woman, has her hand on her hip in frustration. Like, are, are you going to pay attention to me? Because she's not looking at the angel. She's looking at him. Like, hey, um, yoo-hoo, I'm here. I'm naked. I'm here. <laughs> you, you aren't even paying attention to anything that's going on back here. But that's because he's been focused on his growth, his development. He has really, I mean, for some, he may be going through a midlife crisis. Because typically when people go through a midlife crisis, they reach this point where they're questioning life. What's the purpose of life? They think, okay, well, have I... <clears throat> Have I accomplished enough? Have I not? He hasn't taken his attention off of you because he's in another relationship. It's because he's becoming something greater. Now, for some, he is, his answer in the call, he is considering changing careers. Um, for some of you, you are worried about the money and the finances. You're very serious, very stoic. But he wants to recapture the playfulness. He wants to recapture those things. He has been focused on his growth. He has been focused on that inner development. And he, things have been very serious between the two of you. Things have been very serious and focused on the materialistic world. Um, taking care of the finances, taking care of money. But he wants to, just as you want to, he wants to recapture that spark. He wants to bring that back. If you look in this card, he's totally focused on her. I mean, the child's not even in the picture. He's all about her. He's ready to go back to that phase. So it's interesting because you really, Gemini, you're actually mirroring each other. So it's good. You're not like some of the other signs where, you know, you've got this big breakup on the horizon. You both want the same thing. Just, you know, how are you going to get there? It is February. Make plans with him. Go somewhere for a weekend. Bring that spark back. Now, as far as how they see the relationship, you've got the wheel, you have appreciation, you have fork in the road, you have release your ex. Now, it's interesting because when I was shuffling the cards and praying, this card actually popped out like this. And they were telling me it's because this is an energetic thing. But at the bottom of the release your ex, the time has come to clear your energy. And then you've got heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So they want to end this heavy burdensome cycle with you. They want to clear the air. They want to renew this relationship. They want to refresh this relationship. They want the tears and the sadness to end. They want that to be over. They want you to move into the next chapter. Yes, things have been rough. For some of you, they've been rough uh, past six to nine months. Some of you, maybe 12, but most of you six to nine months. But they've come to this place. They do feel like there's a fork in the road. They do feel that heavy energy. They want to get to the other side of this. They want to get to happier times. They don't know how to do it. They don't know how to clear this heavy energy. They do know that the two of you need to have a conversation and share your feelings with each other, although they are fearful that it's going to not go well. Some of them, they're fearful that they will not be heard. Because they feel that you're so frustrated with them at this point. Some of you, you have been um, very happy to share your frustrations. You have been communicating very clearly your frustrations with them. 
you see how this angel she's sitting back and she's got her arm up on her forehead and she's like oh just lean back like oh my gosh so they know that you're not pleased they want to fix that though they do want that cycle to end they do love you now let's see what they want for this month there's that conversation Okay. So you have the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, Storm Warning, Why, and then this card calling in your soulmate that is reversed. I'll hold it up so you see the graphics. At the bottom it says, your prayers, affirmations, visualizations help bring you together. You are together. You're just not on the same page. Now... This is all about having these blessings, these, these wishes bestowed upon you in luxury, like things. Oh, man, that is just the prize and receiving it. This card's about being proud of what is yours, showing that off. He is, she is, they are proud of the relationship with you. You are like a dream come true. You are their wishes fulfilled. They... They are pleased with the relationship. Now, the relationship for the past year or so has been, again, focused on just those materialistic day-to-day -day operations. There hasn't been that love, that spark, that flirtation, that, that having fun together with each other. They do desire that with you. They want to have that conversation But they're fearful if they have the conversation, they're afraid there's going to be this battle, this storm, this argument. And they, they're questioning why. They're questioning why aren't the two of you on the same page? Why? They're kind of like, they're having trouble figuring out like why you're not on the same page. Why things are not going well. They don't want to have to do battle to bash, to bash. Well, I guess for some of you, it's feeling like it's going to be a bash, a battle. They don't want to, they don't understand why it has to be a battle, why it has to be a conflict, why it has to be a big argument. They love you. They care for you. They want to be on the same page. They're proud of the relationship. They're proud of what the two of you have created together. They want, when you look at this card, what they want to have happen in February, they want to have the two of you come back into balance together. You see, you've got him and her. They're both looking upward together. They're both in sync. They're both in balance. They're both on the same page. He wants to be on the same page with you in February. He wants to get back in step with you. He misses that accord that the two of you had. Now, as far as what the angels are recommending that you do this month, you have the first card is owl spirit and at the bottom it says you see clearly now so there are some things that are lost in communication this is saying that they're recommending that you read between the lines he he she they are showing you that they love you they are showing you that they care those but because like for some of you you know, he's been going through this, this pivotal moment, he or she, they've been going through this pivotal moment in life where they have been evaluating life, seeing, you know, what impact have they made in life? What's been the purpose? Are they on their purpose? Are they on their path? They haven't been cheating on you. They don't have a dirty secret. They don't have anyone in the background. Some of you think that they do. They don't. So they're encouraging you to, to pay attention to those things. There's nothing else going on. Pay attention to his actions. He does love you. She does love you. They love you. They care for you. Because you'll notice the things that are in fact being lost in translation because the two of you are not communicating clearly with each other because now there's been this conflict and this strife and, and things are not being communicated well at this juncture. Now, mm -hmm. okay. 
but you Geminis, you are the ones with the power to turn this around. You have this card, Grace. And on the back it says, Grace in elegance of body, mind, and spirit. You have acknowledgement. And on the back it says, all life comes from the light. And then you have this card, Action. And on the back it says, in taking action, move swiftly. Life is short, no time for hesitation. So, Gemini, you have the ability to turn this around for the two of you. They love you, they care for you, they want this to be turned around. By you stepping into a state of grace this month, acknowledging, okay, something's going on here. I want to I want to get to the bottom of it, but I don't want to get to the bottom of it by coming from an aggressive stance that's going to start an argument, which is what he's or she is anticipating. Instead, I'm going to take action to cut through and get to the bottom of things, but I'm going to take action to for a number of you they're saying they're encouraging you to to plan a weekend getaway plan some fun time with just the two of you where you'll be able to be relaxed you'll be able to just talk but you'll also be able to have some fun and you'll be able to bring that spark back in this relationship which is what it is needing at this point and it is going to take some grace for you to do that because for some of you you are very very frustrated at this point but you are the ones with the power to turn it around the cards i was looking at i pulled some cards from the bottoms of the deck you've got magician in the mirror action again it's same thing action you you are the magician you are the one with the power to bring this back into balance to bring this back into optimism you see he's even got the infinity symbol the two of you are soulmates you're just out of sync right now that's all. But you are the one, Gemini, who has the power to bring it back into sync. It is going to be requiring you to take the action, you to take the lead. Hey, hey baby, why don't we go away for the weekend? It's Valentine's Day is coming up. I saw this, this great cabin. There's all types of, you know, skiing or activities nearby that we can do. Those of you in the Southern Hemisphere, maybe you can go, you know, water skiing go hiking but you know I saw some fun stuff that we can do do you want to go because by doing that things are going to turn around things are going to start to flourish again things are going to start to bloom again you're going to feel your heart fill up with love again for them you're actually going to be able to regenerate re renew this relationship turn things around that is in fact what you want that's also what they want but it does hinge on you taking some steps. And the steps is not like you've got a lot, do a lot of stuff. <laughs> you just need to plan a date, plan some fun with each other. And not just fun for a couple hours, because you're not gonna be able to have the deep conversations that you need to have, but something for at least an overnight trip, where there's also a fun activity that you can do. Because since, you know, they're worried that there's gonna be an argument, by planning an activity, that's going to take, you know, if you're just going to plan, okay, we're going to go to a cabin and stare at each other and talk the whole time. Well, that's going to cause some apprehension and worry on their end. And they're like, oh my gosh, we're going to do it. But if you plan an activity, plan to do something that's going to be fun, that's going to get the two of you to relax, so that then that's going to open up the dialogue, which is what you need at this point. And that's all you need to bring everything back into balance. This is going to be your outcome in February 2019. If, in fact, you take the recommendations that the angels are recommending for you, you have the Ace of Pentacles, the yin yang building blocks, and then you have the separation. It's in reverse. At the bottom, it says time apart from your partner is on the horizon. There is no time apart from your partner. You won't be separating. This is about gathering what you have sown with gratitude, a solid foundation. You have a solid foundation with this person. In February, you are going to be back in the races. You're going to have this fresh start. You're going to come back into balance with one another. You're going to be on the same page again. By the end of February, you'll be on the same page again. You'll both be rowing in the same direction again. You will be building something together again, no longer planning to go in opposite directions. You're gonna get over this, Gemini. You're going to make it through it. And it's not gonna be that hard, it's actually gonna be fun. They're, they're saying plan something fun. You'll actually really enjoy it and you'll enjoy your time together. So I wish you all an amazing month filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.